At minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, liquid nitrogen turns the soft and supple, like flowers or ripe fruit, into something brittle enough to shatter. Anything that potent attracts its fair share of folklore. And we're testing two of the fables. Let's talk about shattering frozen heads. Now, this scene's a little graphic, so I doubt they're gonna show it. Okay, well, how about I describe it instead? During the movie Jason 10, Jason takes a girl's head, dunks it in liquid nitrogen for five seconds, and then smashes it against a counter so it shatters into a million pieces just like ice. The original scene is too grim to show, so here's a cartoon compromise. There's no doubt this would ruin your day, but could a five-second dunk freeze a warm face so fast it explodes on impact? Well, it sounds like our testing is going to come down to two things. First, does organic material with high water content shatter like ice when frozen? And second, does it only take five seconds to freeze it, or is it even longer? Well, I doubt anybody is going to volunteer for this experiment, so we're going to have to make our own heads. So why don't we get some real human skulls? We'll make some ballistic gel heads so that way it's very similar to the water content of a human being. Carrie sources the skulls from the bone room. She knows they all have to be small enough to fit inside a mold of her head. I think I'll take these three skulls right here. Okay. So here's the plan for these crash test heads. They'll need the first for an unfrozen control test, and the second for that crucial five second dip in liquid nitrogen. The third is a just in case backup. Run! This season, Mitts will <laughs> fall. All new Mythbusters, Wednesday at 9, only on Discovery.